this video, we're going to set up Snap Accounts for the Social Network Auto Poster Snap Accounts page. Uh, once you've installed it and have it activated, go ahead and go to Accounts, and you'll see this arrow right here, which says you can add Facebook, Twitter, Google, etc. So in order to do this, you need to basically create an application with which each social media platform now requires due to some recent news about hacking and people taking advantage of the system, especially Facebook itself. So we're going to go to Add New Account. It just pops up this box here. Select Network. There's tons to go through. We're only going to go through Facebook on this video. If you want to see additional ones, please let me know in the comments. So I'll click Facebook, and it brings up a whole ton of information here. Um, but we'll start right at the top. They have a detailed Facebook configuration instruction. Um, which I just open up in a new tab and refer to if you need it. Um, but there's a lot of instruction here. So the first one, the account name, I simply just name it what it is. Um, so the website we're doing this for is Simplex Studios and we're doing it on the Facebook account. Additionally, if you have a pro account and you have multiple Facebook pages, you could do facebook.com or facebook-press avenue or whatever you have, etc. And put that in there. This is solely for you. Next, Facebook made a change. Uh, we all know that. Um, it's from the Cambridge Analytics um, scandal hack, whatever you want to call it. Because of that, now they don't allow unrestricted access anymore. You have to go through this process. So we're going to, which API do you want to use? Native is what I recommend. Next scripts, the people that make this offer for 10 bucks a month, or sorry, 10 bucks a year, you don't have to do any of this, but I like the free option better. Next, they need an app ID and an app secret, so we have to create it by going to developers.facebook.com slash apps. So I'll close this one here. Yours will look different, but these are all my apps. Um, if you just go to straight developers.facebook.com, you don't have any apps, you'll see this. The front five here will be different just based on the news that they have. On the top right-hand corner, it says My Apps. You want to go to Add a New App. If you go to that other page, add new app is a button on the top right. All right, so the display name, this is the name that people will see within your Facebook account. So it says posted by, you know, Buffer, posted by Hootsuite. This will say posted by, and it'll say Simplex Studios. You can put your name, your company, whatever, but this is a public name that people will see. Uh, support email address, um, most likely no one will ever email you on this. Um, but I would just put either a public email, an info at your domain, or something like that. Then go ahead and hit create app ID, do the Google security check, and hit submit, and then just wait a second while it loads the page. When you get there, um, it gives you all the stuff that you can do with it. Uh, we don't technically need this quite yet. We're going to go to settings and then basic. So again, there's that display name, app domains. You'll put in your domain name without the HTTPS. So I'll put in simplexstudios.com. There's my support name. I believe you do need a privacy policy. If you don't have one, um, I can put a link to one in the description that you can use or review, or you can simply just put your homepage. Terms of service, I definitely don't think you need it all. So you scroll down here, and then we'll go to Add Platform. When you click this, it gives you a whole bunch of options. We want a website. So click Website, and it says enter your website URL here. Now you need the HTTPS dot dot slash slash your domain dot com. I will go ahead and hit Save. So I'll give it a second to load. We'll go back to the dashboard. It's amazing anyone has ever figured this stuff out. And we'll scroll down. Now we'll go to add a product. It says Facebook login. This is what we want here. So we'll click setup. Um, this is a quick start, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. We want this for www or the web. So click web, um, site URL, save, and then hit continue. And then from here we'll go to settings, and then it asks for this. Oath redirect basically URL here. This is the next scripts um, account page. So when I come back to here, so this is back on WordPress, 
and back down to this app ID and app secret. What it's asking for is this link right here. So copy this. So it's basically your domain slash wp dash admin slash admin dot php question mark page next script snap is what that stands for. And we'll paste that in here. So it's just the callback. So that's what we want. Let's go ahead and click it after you do it. Hit save. And we'll go back to the dashboard. Uh, excuse me, we'll go back to settings and basic. And now we need the app ID. So we'll copy this, paste it in here. The secret, you hit show, it asks you for a password. Use my password manager. Submit, copy, and I'll hide those. Paste, and then I hit authorize Facebook account. So if you look on the bottom, it's thinking. So continue as yourself, whatever your name is, it'll be there. What pages do you want to use with Simplex Studios? So Simplex Studios is my company name. Whatever name you put in the display name will be here. So I want to use Simplex Studios. I'll hit next. What do you want it to do? I want it to do everything, so I just leave everything on and hit done. It says you're now linked. You can update what Simplex Studios does in your business integration settings. If you want to see what those are, just right click, open in a new tab. We'll come back to it later. Go ahead and hit OK so we can finish the authorization. So um, go ahead and click Update Accounts to save it. It does this authorization required, so I'm going to do Show Settings again. And then I hit Authorize again. And it thinks for a second. It says this is a normal authorization window. It'll disappear in just a second. So you do have to click that twice which isn't really specified in the long instructions that they give. Um, so now it's, it's finally done. Facebook is authorized and ready to go. You can click Show Settings. Um, so you can skip all this and go down to Where to Post. So it's posting to, um, I believe this is the application itself, but we want to post to Pages. So I'm going to post directly to Simplex Studios, which is this gibberish number, which I didn't know. Next, the post format. This is the default. I delete the new post area and have it do the title. Has been published on the title of the website. Then the additional one that I like, and you can read through these here, is it turns tags into hashtags, which is genius. So I just do a dash and then tags. So if the post is about web design, a tag might be WordPress. And then this would be hashtag WordPress, which I think is fantastic. Um, so it kind of takes a little bit of work out of that. The post type, you can read through the difference between all of these. Um, so there it is right there. I just do the shared link, which is the one with the image and the title. And then I click update account info. That's simply my password manager. And then test your settings. Click the submit test post to Facebook. I click that. And then it says sending update to Facebook. So I give it a second to think here. It says success. It was posted to the Simplex Studios page. You can see it here. So I click back to Facebook. Here it is here. It shows um, the name of my account published by Simplex Studios. So again, that's the display name. I think that's fantastic that the branding gets to show through. Test post, link back, and then the image on my site etc. It all looks great. After the test post you can either leave it, but I would actually delete it because it says test post. So go ahead and delete that. Alright, so we'll come back here to accounts, click OK. Once we're done here, again you can add more accounts by clicking this green button. Um, if you want more than one Facebook you need to upgrade to the Pro, which is fairly cheap. And then you can click this again and add Twitter, etc. And it's similar on most other networks going through this process. And the last part I'll show is if you go to posts themselves. So I'll let this load. Um, again, it'll be your posts, not mine, but I'll go to my newest one. Um, other plugins put up here in the pu publish area, they'll have that sharing thing. This particular Snap one puts it at the bottom. So here's Yoast SEO Premium. 
Next script, social auto poster is at the bottom here, and you'll see auto post to Facebook, and then I named it the Facebook Simplex Studios. It'll show the title, the site name, and the hashtags, and there it is there. When your draft goes out, uh, when you click publish, it'll auto share and uh, schedule, etc. will all be uh, done through up here. So I can schedule this, uh, which I won't set it. But you can see that there and then go ahead and hit schedule and you're good to go. All right, so that was a mouthful and there was a lot going on. If you have any questions about this video or any particular part of it, please do let me know. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Additionally, we would love it if you'd hit that subscribe button. It's the red button on the under this video on the right hand side. After hitting it, a little bell will show up. Go ahead and click that bell to be notified of new videos just like this one. Again, thank you so much for watching.